What's up guys, Dan here. Welcome to the 6th episode of my player reviews. In this video I am showing you what I think of Team of the Season Ericsson. I paid 150,000 coins for him and he has been amazing. The best player I've used on Ultimate Team yet. And I'm not even thinking about that. He's definitely the best. He has 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. And the 150,000 coins was cheaper than Valbuena and I lost 125,000 coins on him. And so far I haven't lost any on him after selling him and he has 86 pace, 81 shot, 88 passing, 90 dribbling and the rest are defending stats but he is an amazing player, the dribbling he has is insane and he can just go alone basically if he has the ball through to him he can just go one way and then drop the shoulder and move the other way moving on to the team which I play him in, it is a Dutch league team, Eredivisie and he just works alongside them well and I love him in this team he is standing up player and look at that, Outdoor Boney who has a team of season as well and some other players as well and I love this player, I can't deny it, you should do definitely go out and buy him. Look at his in-game stats, they are just amazing as well. Look at that, 95 ball control, 83 crossing, 99 curve, 90 dribbling and that 99 curve is counting on free kicks so he has all over 80s and the curving is 99 which is amazing, he has 95 short pass and 88 shot power he is an outstanding player with that weak weak foot 5 star which means he can use either foot to the perfect standard he has right, a high attacking work rate and he has medium defensive meaning he will be up there but will sometimes track back he has 92 agility 82 balance and 90 reactions 86 sprint speed and 88 acceleration also 86 revision and 86 vision which means he can spot out that pass Looking at the goals, look at this goal, just coming up. He turns around the player, sprints at the goal and bangs a shot with his right foot right into the side netting of the goal, banging off the post. He is so good at them shots. Cutting inside and shooting is his, definitely his strong point. Avoiding the challenge, dropping the shoulder is another thing he does all the time. Next goal, on an attempt on target, was again coming back inside and look at this like moving in and out and then just having a shot and he was unlucky not to score hitting the bar again on the attack his first touch was amazing there having a shot and testing the keeper nearly scoring at then moving on look at that from outer door look at the run he always makes good runs off the ball and a lovely finish into the bottom corner definitely a player to buy and he just does everything perfectly I can't fault him much apart from his one thing I don't like his strength that is one thing which improved but look at that lovely finish at three kicks, I, I attempted one and it seemed to test the keeper quite well and he managed to tip it wide, but moving on, he has got the ability to go past players with ease and just going down the byline and moving across and getting the ball ahead of the player and going down the byline and coming in and just shooting is simple for him. He can do it so easily and effectively. So, yeah, just the control and quick control, like going through with the foot moving in and out that's definitely a strong point yeah a great goal there and also moving forward he starts off counter attacks very quickly and moves on look at that pass and then just a very quick simple precise into the bottom corner finish and scoring a goal his goals in games were insane for me I think he got 10 in 7 maybe even more but yeah he scored every game and just a very good touch and a good pass from Boney there and his through and goal coming back inside and going outside and shooting into the bottom corner a lovely shot and he did nearly get strength off the ball but he managed to hold on and then obviously score right into the bottom corner out of the keeper's reach that's all what he seems to do a great finish and Valbuena he was quite good dribbling on the ball and everything but he didn't seem to peel on the ball as much and he didn't have as much of an effect on game. Look at that roulette, flip flap, outside through players and was unlucky not to score with his left foot, a great save from Czech but just the uh, ease of creating opportunities. Running here and then just a, a very good finish. First time on the ball, one on ones, he is outstanding. Power shots and finesse are good. Valbuena was like that as well but Eriksson is just the perfect player for me. Apart from his heading, he never scored a head, but still, he is quite small, so you wouldn't expect a lot from that. And he's a centre attacking mid, but the goals he was scoring were just insane. Look at that, just going down the right wing from the corner, and then carrying on running, and then 
moving in and out, dropping the shoulder, and again moving in and out, and then a lovely finish into the top bottom left corner. Just outstanding. I, I'm lost for words with this player. 150,000 coins for him. He has definitely been worth it. Just outstanding, and I couldn't believe how good he was. See, a very quick turn and breaking away was a very good thing about him. Coming inside and coming back outside and a lovely outside of the foot shot. He just, oh, I, I literally can't put it in words how good he is. You should definitely go and use him. And yeah, he's just outstanding. Moving on to the ratings I think of him. I, I think he is 9 out of 10. That was the one thing I would think is the strength and the value of money. 9 out of 10. It is quite a lot of money. 150,000 coins. Not a lot of people can afford that but if you do have the coins and you have the money to put it in a team with him definitely buy him. I hope you enjoyed this player review. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and thank you so much for last video's feedback. It got 63 likes and over 800 views. Thank you for watching. Cheers.